David Hill back again at Chino Hills High School. I want to say hello to all of our, our HSPN family, our fans, uh, and all of our support base as we get ready now to do this very, very uh, interesting and exclusive interview. I am lucky enough to be back here with Rayanne Jones. Now let me tell you about this young lady, as you can see her in our frame. Uh, I came out to Chino Hills High School last week. We did the play, uh, this was the game of the week. Uh, we had our impact players for Chino Hills High School and Etiwanda High Schools. I came out to practice on Wednesday. She doesn't know this, but I, I shared this with her earlier. I came out to practice to do my normal thing, is to get content, take video and photos and what have you. And I saw Rayanne there, and she says that most people don't notice me, they don't even know I'm a girl. Well, I noticed that, um, but that wasn't why I was here. I was here to get content for the game and a, a promotion for the game. So I went on my, about my business and left. Um, didn't think about it. Got here Friday night for the game and the most interesting thing happened is that she was also on the homecoming court. Okay, In addition to being their place kicker, and I'm not talking about just a, a token place on the team because she's a girl. You'll learn much more about this young lady. She is kicking extra points, made every single one of her extra points, which, if you look back at the game, was critical for her to make all of her extra points. At Awanda's coach, or, or kicker did not. They got a couple blocks. Her extra points were critical in keeping Chino Hills in the ball game. Because if you don't make those extra points, right, Ryan, you guys are, are, are further than a one score away. Right. Okay, so it was critical to make all of those kicks. And by the way she was kicking, and I saw this, she could have kicked from a further distance out. And we'll talk about that in a minute too. So not only did she kick in the football game, made all of her extra points, she was on the homecoming court. She changed at halftime. I don't know what telephone booth you went to, <laughs> super, super lady. But she changed into a, a homecoming gown, went out there and won that too, <laughs> okay? So, I mean, this, this young lady is off the charts. So we decided to come back and have a one-on-one -on -one with her. She's so kind enough to sit with us today exclusively and talk with us about her and, and what drives her. And that's my kind of my first question for you, Rayanne, as not only the kicker on this football team, you're also a Division I scholarship level soccer player. Okay, so all of these things going on, um, what, what drives you to do what you do? I mean, that's a heck of a workload, not to mention the fact that she's, and I didn't mention this, she's a 4.0 student too, which no one should be surprised about. <laughs> so all these things, all these things, and the personality that's going to knock people off the charts, what, what drives you? What's next for you? What, what, what motivates you? What is your motivation for all of this? My motivation would have to be my little brother, Nicholas. He's 12 now. He, I just want to be the best influence I can for him and just make sure he knows that anything that he wants to do, he can do. And just he's the thing that drives me through it all. That's awesome. And I think I saw at some point in time, somewhere on social media, I saw pictures of you and your brother and having fun. And, and that, that is just a tremendous thing. Again, speaks uh, you're speaking from the heart and, and show that you have a tremendous heart in addition to the things that you're already accomplishing. I want to go back to the football game on Friday night and an interesting scenario developed. Um, there was no one stopping anybody at that football game. Let's, let's face that. 63-60 to 60 final score. But at the end... Uh, Chino Hills was driving the football and looked like with a couple of more plays and a little bit more time on the clock, they get the ball possibly into field goal range. Now you're down 63 to 60. Here's my question for you, okay? For anybody who thinks that, oh, she can't kick. Yes, she can. So here's the deal. Where would you have been comfortable kicking a game tying field goal for Chino Hills High School? I think I definitely would have been more than capable of kicking 40, 43, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's incredible, which I'm glad, I'm glad to know that I watched you kick in warm-ups, and I said, my goodness, this girl has a tremendous leg. I didn't know anything about the soccer part, but I assume you did, and to know that you are a Division I level soccer player uh, explains everything. But here's the other thing that I think that comes to mind as well, too, in addition to you being comfortable kicking at that range, 40, 45 yards. Listen, there are, there are guys that don't make those kicks. There's a guy right now who's unemployed with the Los Angeles Chargers who didn't make his kicks because he, he just didn't. And to hear you talk this confidently, I think of a term, performance under pressure, okay? How do you 
Rayanne, cope with the idea? What's your coping mechanism for performing under pressure? You, you act like you would have just walked out there and kicked it, no problem. What's your coping me mechanism for performance under pressure? Um, definitely just having confidence in myself. And that's the only thing I go out with on the field, whether it's game tying, game winning, field goal, PAT. That's all I go out with when I go out on the field. And that's definitely my coping mechanism. <laughs> Which that, that's a lesson learned. A lot of people can't do that. They don't really know how to handle the moment and that pressure moment. Uh, pressure, as you well know, can burst a pipe, and I don't see any bursting going on here with you. Um, I wanna know this as well, too, and I, I'm sure most of our audience is curious to know this, and, and very, very curious to know your feedback on this. Um, what's the future look like, in your opinion, for female athletes in the game of football? Now, let me preface that a little bit, and please don't, don't, don't kill the messenger. This is my observation and my, my years of experience in the game and around the game. I, I don't know that I've yet seen a female, prominent female, play a position. I've seen the specialists in kicking and maybe some quarterbacking and things of that nature. That's all good. But I want to know from you, is there a place for a female athlete to play a primary position from quarterback to receiver. Now I was a I was a safety. <laughs> My job was to come over the if you came over the middle, I was gonna try to take your head off. <laughs> so it's a little crazy out there. But from your perspective, is there another female athlete? What's your opinion on where female athletes are going and where can they go in the game of football? Um, I think any female athlete could play a major spot in football. It's just we're, of course, not comfortable because it's not normal to see a girl playing safety or linebacker. But I think I, me or any other girls out there have the capability to do something like that. Like, I could squat more than some of these guys on the football team, and I'm not afraid to say that. But I think any female athlete could if, of course, practice enough and... You know, any girl could do anything. 